day, trendsetters. Here we are at the start of the 2019 Dirty Cairns at 200. We'll see you soon. Before we get into the race itself, a look around the town of Emporia during the days leading up to Dirty Kansa. There were riders pre-riding the course, making decisions such as tyre choice, which had been important considering the amount of rain that had fallen in the area and the potential for rain day of the race. Preparation was in full swing at my accommodations, the Guffler Mansion, hosted by Lyman Agency and the Envy Crew. These are the DKXL riders who were rolling out of Emporia on Friday at 3 p.m. for 350 miles. I poke around the Dirty Kansas Expo and the town itself before Saturday morning 6 a.m. start for the 200 mile race. My goal was simply to finish my fourth DK200. 1,200 riders are lined up for the 200 mile distance with plenty of former winners and ex-professional and current professional riders getting the call up. The first mile or two is held under a neutral pace, but the tempo towards the front isn't exactly hanging about. The first gravel marks the end of neutral and the 2019 Dirty Kansas 200 is officially underway. It is a long day and I wasn't interested in killing myself early so I set about a nice tempo whilst being passed by somewhere in the neighbourhood of 500 riders. With a full load of hydration on board the bike, meaning 2 by one litre bottles and a 2 litre camelback, I wasn't exactly feeling very svelte. Anything goes on gravel for bike choice, including aero bars and categories for fat bikes, single speed and gravel tandems. Ahead of me is Taylor, the proprietor of the bikery of St. Petersburg, Florida. If you're in Tampa Bay, the shop is worth checking out for bikes, coffee and more. In this scene, I'm joined by more of the Florida crew and all over 40 riders based in Florida signed up for this year's DK200. The rain a few days before definitely had an impact on some parts of the course. This was one of the more rockier roads during the ride to Sheep Point 1. Good tubeless tyre choice was imperative along with sealant to back it up. Ahead of me is Adrian, who sometimes writes articles for the GravelCyclist.com website. She's riding strongly in the women's single speed category. There were one or two water features on the course, but they posed no real issues to anybody. Simply dismount and walk your bike across. Unless you like chancing a tyre puncture, riding across was not recommended. And here's a nice drone shot of the same crossing, which provides you with an idea of the surrounding terrain. Kansas is not flat. entering and leaving the town of Eskridge, Kansas. Another muddy water crossing which was likely ridden by the leaders, but most everybody else walked it.
at right is Leo Rogers, aka Slim1000 on Instagram. He's an absolute legend. Somewhere in this point in the video, I had a leaky valve issue that cost me some time and my stomach was starting to take a turn for the worse. However, I was hoping I could turn things around at the first checkpoint, which was drawing closer. Note the bloke at right riding in flat pedals and sneakers. This is the town of Alma, Kansas, home to checkpoint one. Crews are divided into zones, but finding them can be tricky. I was being crewed by Envy. Thank you to all of the guys for taking care of my bike and toting around my massively heavy cooler. I left the checkpoint in the company of Bo, who is an Envy employee. Unfortunately, he too was on a bad day, but we decided to stick together and keep on riding. As you can see, some of the gravel is very rocky with only one clear path through it. At no time can you ever let your guard down riding at Dirty Kanza. I saw several crashes, but I sincerely hope everybody is well on the road to a full recovery. Bo and I kept plugging along, but it wasn't pretty. Somewhere before the 100 mile point, I took a roadside nap. That's the sort of day I was having. This is Little Egypt Road, a section of the course that everybody was warned about ahead of time. I've ridden worse, but it featured a steep, tricky climb and an equally tricky descent. Much of the gravel along this road reminded me of railway ballast. I took the main descent very cautiously I did not want to risk flatting. This is the small town of Voland, Kansas, nowadays home to a community gathering space and location of the EF Education Neutral Water Stop. This stop saved many a rider's day. I took the opportunity to rehydrate some and take another short nap. My nap may have been over, but the riders on the right side of the road were also feeling the heat and the effort of the day. I was sticking closely with Bo, but he made the decision to abandon about 125 miles into the race. Considering he had pneumonia just a few weeks before DK200, I'd say he made a fine effort. This is Alta Vista, Kansas, location of the official neutral water stop for the race. I didn't film the scene around here, but a lot of riders, myself included, were in a bad way. I kept rolling towards Council Grove, site of DK200's second checkpoint. Somewhere along this sector, I emptied some of my stomach contents into the bushes along the side of the road. Lovely. Things weren't going too well. Just about everybody at this point in the day was resigned to walking the steep hills. My shadow on the road indicates how far gone I was. Usually I would pedal a descent non-stop, rather it was pedal coast, pedal coast. Finally I enter the outskirts of Council Grove, way behind schedule. I would like to pass along a thank you to AJ for Envy, your help at the checkpoint was greatly appreciated but it was pretty much game over for my 2019 DK200. Hey everybody, I'm coming to you from checkpoint two of the 2019 Dirty Kansas in Council Grove, Kansas. Uh, today's been a very hard day. I've, uh, I've pushed myself pretty hard and uh, I've had some issues with my stomach and I've had to have a couple of sleeps by the side of the road. This has been a really hard day uh, on the bike, not just for me, but for a lot of people. 
So I'm not taking, I'm not making this decision lightly. Uh, I have to look after my health. I'm deciding to pull the pin on this uh, year's Dirty Cans. Uh, so anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye for now.